What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. This is your first time here, welcome to Fresh Roots Exotic Cars. Reviews, insights, high octane adventures, that's what we do here on this channel. So if you're into that kind of thing, be sure to smash that subscribe button and stick around. Guys, today we are in my AMG GTS Stage 2, and I wanted to talk to you about a few things to look out for if you're in the market for this particular car, guys. I have a 2016 uh, AMG GTS, but this does apply to all of the AMG GT models. Uh, but more specifically, the first thing to look out for applies towards the newer uh, or the older models, uh, rather. So the 2016s, uh, the edition ones, if you're in the market for one of those, be sure to watch this video. It will help you out. So Got the it. first thing that you're gonna wanna look out for is uh, on the Carfax is to make sure it had a recall done. Back when these cars came out, they had a drive shaft issue. It's a carbon drive shaft that was separating and it was causing some issues uh, and, and causing cars to go into limp mode. Here we are on this nice little Buena Creek uh, right here next to my house though. Check it out. So like I was saying, they were having some issues with the drive shaft. They ended up Re, uh, having a recall on that it was completely covered and they extended it for eight years guys so check out these bikers uh coming up right here uh so anyways yeah so we're at this little buena creek uh right near my place pretty much orange groves uh and then a nice little uh canyon creek run for about uh five or so miles guys so if you're in the market for this car that is the first thing to look out for is to make sure that it had that recall done i ha i'm in a, i'm a part of a group a c190 group uh on instagram and there's over 100 members actually in there and we're able to bounce ideas off of each other uh ask questions and whatnot and there's a few uh, uh the guys in there that did not have that recall done and they're running into that issue guys so eventually it'll probably happen if you didn't have that recall done so it's important to uh check on the carfax and make sure that the particular car that you are looking for had that done guys so that's the first thing that you want to look out for Ooh. Other than that, if you are in, in the market for one of these cars, uh, it, it's an amazing platform. You just want to be careful. The next thing that I would say that I kind of had to learn the hard way was uh, Mercedes recommends spark plugs and ignition coils to be replaced on this car at 30,000 miles. I purchased my car at 26,000 miles. It did not have that done. And uh, shortly after I had to do it and it was a two thousand dollar job you guys so uh that is definitely something to uh be aware of uh to make sure that you know either the spark plugs are done or that you can maybe mention that to the seller uh and see if you uh can't get a couple bucks uh, uh shaved off of the price that you're looking at uh because it is an expensive job and it is something that you want to look out for Ooh. All right, guys, up next is going to be the tires. You want to make sure you take a look at those tires because they are expensive. So there's not too many options uh, for tires for this car, uh, but I just had to recently get two rear tires uh, and it set me back a little over a thousand bucks, guys. So I have a Michelin uh, Cup, not Cup 2s. I have the Michelin Pilot Sport 4Ss uh, on uh, my rears right now. And like I said, set me back uh, a little over a thousand bucks. So that's something to look out for as well. But other than that, guys, if you are in the market for an AMG GTS, I truly believe that they, they are out of value right now. I, I don't think you can get anything uh, that's this. I, I, it checks a lot of boxes. You're gonna get luxury, you're gonna get performance, you're gonna get a sound uh, that, that's unmatched. But with all of that said, it's not, it's not all wheel drive, right? So it's not gonna be the fastest uh, drag car out there. Uh, I have a stage two tune and this car absolutely rips. When you're on a Canyon Creek run like I am right now, it absolutely is at home. Ooh. I mean, it lets the back end out a little bit. Right, you can have a lot of fun with this car on a road like this. Woo wee! You can have a lot of fun on a road like this, but keep in mind it's not going to be the fastest 
uh, drag car. It's not an all-wheel drive car. Uh, it is not going to be the fastest car to, to kind of be pulling up uh, to, to Hellcats and whatnot and trying to drag them. It feels at home around a track or in the canyons like we're doing. So uh, keep in mind, I do have some aero on my car. Um, I have a wing, side skirts, and a diffuser, which definitely help with the downforce. Um, I can say that from experience from having the before and the after with no aero and uh, no suspension. I also have the KW uh, height adjustable springs and I have them lowered uh, and my car hunkers down. So I think for, for a few little mods, if, you're, if that's what you're looking to kind of build, uh, it's absolutely possible and you're gonna get a good bang for buck with this AMG GTS. And there's nothing that, that beats that sound. Guys, listen to that. I mean, listen to that AMG sound, guys. It just sounds... I mean, it sounds amazing, guys. So, so it's going to be hard to beat that sound uh, for the price. Now, with that said about the price, I wanted to point a few things out. I have a 2016. These cars range from, let's say, 70 to 80 grand, uh, depending on the mileage. I paid 82 grand out the door, 73 before taxes and fees, but I live here in California. So those taxes and fees were a lot from the dealership. 82K, 26,000 mile, 2016 one owner AMG GTS. Uh, you can find them for cheaper, higher mileage, uh, more owners, uh, uh, not as good a history uh, or whatnot, but, but don't let that uh, uh, shy you away. These are good cars, they're strong cars. The engines are very capable. Uh, and uh, and so far, I've had absolutely no issues. Aside from the ig ignition coils uh, and spark plugs, I've had to do nothing else but service this car one time. And the servicing costs are quite affordable as well, I must say. An A service is going to cost you about three or four hundred bucks from an independent, uh, and a B service is going to cost you maybe four or five hundred bucks from an independent. Look to pay double that at a dealership if you're going to be going to a Mercedes dealer uh, for your A and B service, but still a lot more affordable than uh, some other exotics like a McLaren, for instance. Uh, you're going to be paying double uh, uh, that, if not more, guys. So uh, I think this car is an amazing value. I think if you're in the market for one, I would snag one up. I would put an exhaust on it like I did, uh, get a tune on it from a company like Wystech like I did, uh, get some aero, have some fun with it. Uh, it's an amazing platform. It's very capable very reliable at least from my experience now again I'm part of that group and there are some guys in there that have had issues with their cars uh, but we're talking higher mileage cars 80,000 miles not maintained well uh, and whatnot so keep up to date on your uh, oil changes and your services and Mercedes recommends to service these cars every 10,000 miles I do it every 5,000 miles so that's just something you want to do it gets eyes on the car a little bit more often but uh, stay tuned on this channel I I will uh, keep you guys in the loop for any uh, issues that I have with the car or any maintenance that I end up doing on the car so you can kind of know what to expect if you're a prospective buyer of the AMG GT platform or just for some pure entertainment, guys. So that'll end uh, this vlog. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this canyon rip, uh, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Much love. Here's some bonus um, just canyon uh, carving footage for you guys.
All right, guys, so here's where we end uh, the creek run, and I'll tell you why. You can keep going straight if you had like an off-road vehicle, you can go straight, uh, there's a dirt road. Uh, but this is, guys, this is where, if you've ever wondered in California where like the guys that are, have good behavior uh, end up going for like the low level security uh, prisons or whatever, well, here's one of them. I just found out like uh, maybe a year ago that this is what the, the, is up here, but it's pretty wild. There's like a low level um, prison up here. This is where the guys that are on good behavior go, I guess. So uh, pretty trippy, but goes without saying, this is where I make my U-turn, guys. So a uh, little bonus footage for you guys, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Much love.